Welcome to Historic Mansker Station, located at Goodlettsville, Tennessee. In the year 1780, Casper Mansker arrived out here and established this station to offer a place of protection for the settlers that were heading out here to start their new lives. Why don't you join us as we go inside and explore each of the cabins and see what their purpose was. Inside of this building here that you're about to tour, this is the wood shop that we have here. And it has a very unique history behind it. Inside of this building here, we know that during the times of Casper Mansker's first station that was out here, there was listed a treenware maker. And this treenware maker ended up providing such items as spoons, ladles, bowls, trenchers, anything pretty much well made out of the woods that were used in the construction of these cabins or the drops or from firewoods that he could find around here. Inside of this particular structure, this is where we have opted to congregate all of the woodworking tools that we currently have on this site. They do tend to help us cover though, once again, as mentioned, from Casper Mansker's first station in the year 1708, all the way up to the year approximately 1805, at the time of his second station when we see it eventually being torn down. Inside of here, all of these tools that you see, both the ones without covers as well as the ones with covers, they are sharp and ready to go. In doing that, we also have several trained volunteers who come in and not only provide many aspects of spoon carving and bowl carving, but even on occasion will give cross-cutting demonstrations or might even turn and bring in a pole lathe and use that pole lathe as an aspect of creating bowls and other various items that would have been used out here at this time. You'll notice that from the wooden equipment in the middle of the shop floor here, we have three variations of foot-operated clamps. The two largest ones we have here, we have the English shaving horse as well as the European shaving horse, or as we became to know it as the Appalachian style shaving horse, down to a more recent discovery of the spoon mule. All three of these tend to help provide a foot operated clamping pressure, which allows the person or the carver to move not only their knives, but other smaller pieces of cutting implements across the wood to help shape and create the various items that are needed. If the site needs to have particular pieces of furniture built, perhaps plowing equipment, perhaps gardening equipment repaired, axes with new handles made, all those items are brought to this shop here and they are fitted with the new pieces that they need before being returned to the area in which they came from.